Hello, welcome to Rock Show and Tell. These are some of the rocks that I'm going to be showing you guys and giving you a little facts about what uh, these cool rocks are that I found. Some of them include fossils and some of them are just really cool rocks. So let's look at them now. All right, so here are some pretty cool rocks. This is called a graveyard rock because it has a bunch of little fossils in it. And usually these are shells. You can kind of see some of these circles here, which you'll see in a second in another one of my fossil rocks. Um, I really like it because it has so many different things in it. So if you find anything like this uh, when you're out hunting for rocks, uh, you can definitely see that it's going to be a graveyard rock. So I like how that one looks. Another one that's pretty similar to it um, that I found is this fossil. So this has a bunch of different fossils in it that you can see. Um, so right here, we can see something going on here. You can see right here that has like a little circle in the center. It almost looks like a bead like that you would put on a necklace. Uh, but those are actually not beads. Uh, I would guess that it's a part of a really old worm that's been fossilized in this rock. You can see some more up here. We've got right here some more uh, worm looking things. So this rock has a ton of, especially if you look really, really closely, you can see a ton of little holes in it and maybe where some shells got fossilized. So I really like this one. You can really see it here as well. Right there, you see that little dot in the center? So that's going to be our worm. I'm not quite sure why the center isn't fossilized and only the outside is, um, but hey, if you guys have any guesses, let me know. Look at that. I like it a lot. So another thing that we're going to look at is a dinosaur bone. So I like this one a lot. You can't really tell too easily that it's a dinosaur bone. I have it labeled here. Um, but maybe you guys can see some of the striations. So some of the like lines in it. So right here, you see the lines going uh, like horizontally this way. So that's going to be some of the bone marrow. It's a cross section of a dinosaur bone. Um, I'm not quite entirely sure it's a dinosaur bone, but it's a really old bone. So that's pretty cool. So if you find anything that kind of looks like this, um, this is also really light. So if you held it, you'd be like, hmm, that's a lot lighter than a normal rock. You might have yourself a dinosaur bone. This is something that you might see in a cave. It's called a stalactite. So this is going to be at the roof of your cave. And it, it occurs because all of the cave sediments, so like all the rocks in the cave, um, get collected in water that starts to drip off the top of the cave wall. So I'll give you a closer look. Uh, you can see that there used to be little droplets of water that came down here and it made uh, the more water that came down this, it would make the stalactite bigger. So this stalactite, as you can see, is probably just as long as my finger. Um, but the reason that I know the stalactite is on top of a cave, because you guys might have heard of stalagmites, uh, stalagmites are at the bottom of the cave. So stalagmites, I remember that's at the bottom of a cave. Um, so it would look more like this at the bottom, right? Um, I remember stalagmites because I think stalagmite. I might trip on it because it's on the ground. Um, so that helps me remember that stalagmites are on the ground and stalactites are on the top of the cave. So here's another really cool rock. This is called a geode. So geodes are rocks that when you cut them open, they have really cool crystallizations and like a bunch of crystals on the inside. So this isn't any like gem or anything. It's just a rock that's super special and it actually has crystals that grow on the inside of it. So crystals, they actually grow. Um, it's kind of weird. They're not real like life. They don't have any biology to them. Uh, but they do uh, form in a certain way that we call growing. Um, and you can see on the outside, if you looked at this from the outside, you say, there's no gems, there's no crystals on the inside of this. But then when you cut it open, look, all the crystals. Another really cool stone that I like is obsidian. So obsidian is super light. I have some smaller pieces right here. And they sound like glass. So let me see if you can hear this. Yeah, so that sounds like glass um, because it has a really glassy uh, look to it. So if you feel the top of it, it feels like you're feeling glass, but super shiny, very black, and it's very light. So when I hold it, it's not very heavy. And sometimes you can see 
like arrowheads made out of obsidian or some really cool things made out of obsidian because it's a really cool rock and it's formed uh it's a metamorphic rock so it's formed with really really high heat and pressure so i really like my obsidian rocks they're pretty easy to spot so if you ever find them you should probably see immediately oh it's glossy and it's really light and very black that's probably obsidian so here's another rock that i really like it has different types of rock in it um, because you can see the different colors. So it, these are called striations, the lines in the rock. And these striations have different types of rock in the same rock. Um, it, it could be really any type of rock, I really don't know, uh, but I would guess that's metamorphic. So metamorphic rocks usually have a lot of striations in it because that's, it's formed in high heat and it mixes when uh, rocks melt together. So that's usually where the striations come from. So the inside of this rock, because it looks like it was cut open, looks a lot different from the outside. So this is the outside of the rock. And our inside, you can see all those different types of rock and striations. Uh, so I really like it. And it's a really nice like magenta color. I like it a lot. All right, so this is a super cool fossil. So this is called a brachiopod. And I'm going to show you some photos in a second of what brachiopods actually look like, because this is only part of one. And you can see it's really cylindrical so that it looks like a cylinder. And it has lines that are going this way. But on the inside, you can see that it looks like it's almost like a beehive, maybe. It has a bunch of holes in it. And those are going to be maybe either the blood vessels or something else that couldn't be fossilized in this creature. So I'll show you real quick what a brachiopod looks like. So this is what a brachiopod actually looks like. It looks like a clam kind of. So if you guys ever go to the beach and you see clam shells, it's what it looks like. But this is a super, super old fossil. Clams are really, really old. Um, they come from really different uh, areas. So right here, we've got our brachiopod. This is also a brachiopod. Um, and we had part of a brachiopod in our fossil. So right here, I have something called basalt. So basalt is a pretty dark looking rock. It's not completely dark. It has a little bit of red in it actually, um, but it's a special kind of rock because it's actually a lava rock. So you would find this when your magma, so that's the lava that starts to slow down um, from the melted rock, right? Um, from a volcano. And basalt is actually what's going to start forming. And this is a metamorphic rock. Once again, if you guys wanna brush up on what that is, you can check out the other rock science video. Um, but metamorphic is basically formed in really high heat, and especially volcanoes and that sort of thing. So here we've got a basalt rock that literally came from a vol volcano or came from lava. So I really like basalt rocks just because of how high heat uh, makes really cool rocks. And it's very smooth to the touch. Uh, it's a little dusty, to be honest, but... It's a really nice dark rock you can kind of see here. It has a little red in it. I like it. Right, so right here we have something called Chalidony Roses. So that's a funny name for a rock. I don't know if you can quite see it from this angle, but it's actually pink. So this is a pink rock. Sorry, I have some writing on it as well so I can tell what kind of rock it is. Um, and it's really cool. It's a metamorphic rock. So once again, that means it's formed with high pressure and high heat. Um, and it's really cool because it kind of looks like candle wax, what you would think melted candle wax looks like. And it feels really waxy. So we have some waxy feeling pink rock. So if you ever see that, that's going to be a Chalidony Roses. Very weird name, I know. So lastly, guys, I wanna show you some cool sand. So one of my students actually collected this sand a little while ago, and it's from South Haven, Michigan and it's a magnetic sand. So if you guys can see, I have a magnet right here, and this is our sand. So this is just normal sand, but you can see that it's coming up towards the magnet, magnet because it's magnetic. So the reason that our sand here is magnetic is that we have some iron filings that got into the sand. Now, I haven't really looked at the history of how that works, um, but I would guess that it's not man-made. So men, people like us are not putting <laughs> iron filings in the sand on purpose. If I were to guess, I would say that big iron rocks um, or minerals have been um, de degraded over time, just like how sedimentary rocks are formed. 
Um, and instead of making sand, it makes iron filings. So you're going to have your magnetic sand that you can quite literally just collect off of the beach. And it's definitely a mess, so I'm not going to take it out. Let's look a little bit closer. You can't quite see, but there's still some uh, normal sand in there as well. So this isn't just iron filings. This is actually sand that you get off of the beach. Um, I'm not quite sure. I haven't been to South Haven and seen this magnetic beach, but one of the um, students of mine actually showed me this. So I thought it was really, really cool. So if you guys ever get a chance to find magnetic sand, I would definitely suggest doing it. Um, it is a little messy, so just be aware of that. So I hope you guys liked the different rocks that I showed you today. Um, here are just a few of them. I'll set right out again. Our fossil, our stalactite, obsidian, all very nice rocks. Really cool. I like them a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, rock show and tell. And look at some of the other videos too if you like. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you.